Well, you guys, she's coming to you from her new office space. I know I had briefly mentioned having an office space in my last video. I was decluttering that room and I was thinking about making that my office, but I decided this felt more right. This is the landing, like right when you come up the stairs from like the kitchen and stuff. Ever since we moved into this house, I did feel like I wanted to make this my office, so. I'm finally gonna have an office, which is gonna feel really good. I have not had an office in like two years since we moved here. Honestly, I felt kind of sick of just working from my laptop on the couch all the time. So I feel like I'm gonna be more productive having an actual office area. And this is all stuff that I already had. So for a while now, I've been talking to Joshua about doing like big built-ins on this entire wall. Eventually I do want to put like a closet door over there because I feel like that would be like the perfect closet space over there just for storage and stuff. But then over the weekend I was like, oh, we already have all this stuff. <laughs> Why don't we just put it out and see what it looks like? This is all just Ikea furniture that I've had for a really long time now. This desk I've had since the beginning of my YouTube days. This dresser we've had forever. Um, these I had in my old office, these bookcases. So all Ikea, Joshua screwed them into the wall over the weekend. We put the dresser in between it and I went through all of the papers and just all the junk that I had in all these drawers and cabinets. It got everything super organized. I have like a proper filing system. I gotta tell you, it feels really good. And then I have had these sugar paper calendars, these acrylic, or actually I think they're glass. Are they glass? I have had these for a couple of years now. They still have them on the Target website or even at Target. They're so beautiful. I bought two of them a couple of years ago and we just now, <laughs> hung them up and then my YouTube plaque which this has just been in a box forever and I've never actually hung it up so that's finally hung up which is really exciting I feel like we look professional now this chair is just like a target chair and I have the other one over here not sure if this is actually going to be the office chair situation. I'm going to go to Home Goods see what they have there too cuz I did just have like this old dining chair over here though. So I did feel like this looked better. I threw that pompous grass over there which is that is not going to stay there like that. That's normally downstairs in the living room which I really like it there, but um yeah, I just put this here because I'm feeling like this is the vibes and like color scheme I'm going for. I think I want to do a little shopping today. Maybe pop into Home Goods or something, see what they have. I was thinking maybe a cute lamp on there. I do have some decor pieces to go in these cabinets and make them look cute, but also you know, might be fun to just look and maybe get some more things because those are a lot of shelves. We still have to get the doors put on these bookcases. One of the doors, the glass broke during our move. So I got to get the glass fixed. But these were the little knobs that I got from Ikea and I've had on these for years. I took the set off of those glass doors because I used them in our master bathroom. I just ordered these off of Amazon, which I really like just how simple that is. Also, these right here. This is the little box of ones I just got from Amazon. But these I got from Amazon too. I just showed these in the master bedroom video I used these on the closet. I kind of like them for these drawers maybe. It goes and I don't know maybe the drawers just need a little something so we'll see. I might do an entire video on this little office makeover. Today I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a little update, maybe do a little shopping, and then hopefully you guys give me some good ideas. Let me know what you think. We might need a rug in here, I don't know. I'd love to do window treatments. Gotta get new, like, blinds, curtains. This was another piece of art that I had at my old house that I made during lockdown. Got kind of bored. It's got a little beat up through the move, but I just brought it up here because I thought, I don't know, maybe it could go somewhere. Who knows? So... This is the situation we've got going on so far. I'm liking it, I'm getting really excited about it. So, I'm actually gonna head to the grocery store in a few minutes and I might run into Target Home Goods, maybe film a couple things. If I see anything cute in there, I'll snatch it up for the office space, but I'm really excited. Or just see if I get inspired by something, but I do wanna keep it just like plain and neutral. 
Um, guys. I hate to be like the Stanley influencer, you know, but I am. Stanley came out with new Tumblr colors and I was like, well, I don't need one. But it felt like it was meant to be because I had just been Googling a purple one the day before and they were sold out. And then they just came out with new colors and they had a purple one, so I ordered it. I think it's sold out now, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow. The reason why I wanted purple is because I'm a sticker gal now. I recently got some really cute like little dog mom stickers and stuff like that. So these are all the stickers I have, but I wanted the purple tumbler because I thought these three would look really cute on a purple tumbler. And then these are other ones that I had which I thought would look cute on this one. This one I seem to use more in the summer. It's still 40 ounces, just like the tumbler. It doesn't fit in a cup holder, but like when we're playing pickleball and stuff, it's nice because this has a little hook on it. You can just like hang it on the fence or whatever. I don't know. This one, it just seems like I use it more in the summer. But I do really need to get to the grocery store too. I keep telling myself all day that I'm gonna go to the grocery store and it's one of those things that I just keep putting off. This one is probably my favorite. It's really cute. I wish I could link the stickers for you, but I got them at a store in my downtown, so I don't think I'll be able to link them. And this is now what my water bottle looks like. I actually think it's really cute in summary. We all know how much I love a white book. <laughs> I actually have quite a few, but. They have some good ones in here today. I think like 50 bucks. Just browsing through some of those. I just came across this plant aisle, which now I'm feeling like I need a plant for the corner. Maybe instead of the pompous grass, like a big olive tree or something like that. I think that could look really good. Um, these are priced pretty well. Like 100 bucks, 150. And then I'm gonna look through the art a little bit too. Oh, this is just in a cart. That's actually really cute. I noticed they have like a lot of like, like if you like that vintagey look. That's kind of coming back in style. They have quite a bit of that today. And then this, this is only 20 bucks. Look at how cute that is. I'm thinking for my office, I'm going for like more like plain type of vibes. Simple. Only office chairs I've seen in the whole store are those. This kind of reminds me of what I already have, like a Sherpa chair. The only thing is this one does swivel, which is kind of nice, but it looks so similar to the one I have for 300 so that's the only thing I could really find chair-wise for the office. It's the next day. The new Stanley just arrived. I just took it out of the box. Here it is, stunning in all of its glory. It's matte, so it's like really soft compared to my old one. And it's a little bit different. Like the straw thing is different. It's got a little grippy here. I don't know. A little bit different. It was a little bit more expensive, like $10 more. So better be good. But you guys know I was going to put these stickers on it. That was kind of the whole reason why I bought it. Because I was like, I have purple stickers. I need a purple Stanley. Now that it's here, I'm almost like, is it too beautiful to even put the stickers on it. Maybe I'll leave it like this for a little while. Maybe this one will be my sticker one because after I put the stickers on this one, it's fun and all, but I sort of feel like it looks like I just went on a 15 mile hike. And I'm really not that type of gal. Anyway, wanted to share it with you guys. I thought the new color was pretty. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs though because I do have a little bit of a haul to share with you. I got a couple things at Home Goods. As you can see, dude's taking a little nap up here, his new favorite room in the house. Also, before I share with you guys what I got, Joshua got the doors on and I think it looks so nice. I still have to get the other door fixed where the glass broke from our move. So 
got to find a place that'll do that. But I really like it with the doors on. I just think it looks really, really pretty. And I like the simple little black knobs on it too. So let me know what you guys think. I got a couple things yesterday that I thought I'd share with you guys. And now I can sit at my desk like a professional. Oh my goodness. So you guys know I went into Home Goods. And what, dude? Do you think this is for you again? First I grabbed this. It was $10. And I thought it was just pretty. Maybe it looked good in the little cabinet. So it kind of went with the vibe we were going for. Then I randomly found this too. Which I'm still not for sure about it. If it'll go. Like the little saying. It was kind of that vintage -y look. $12.99. Super cute. So that was all I ended up getting at Home Goods. I didn't really find anything else there that I thought caught my eye too much. I looked at all the rugs. I didn't see any rugs that I liked. And honestly, for this room, I think I would need even bigger than a 9 by 12. I used to have my big ruggable rug up here, which was a 9 by 12. It was too small. And because of the way the ruggable rugs are, the padding, it doesn't really work well on carpet. Like whenever the dogs would walk across it, it just seems like the rug was always shifting everywhere. I ran into Target. I didn't film in there, but I ended up finding a little skirt. How cute is this? This reminds me of like the aloe ones. Now I have like a couple aloe tennis dresses from last year that I'm obsessed with. I wore them all the time. And I don't think I had a tennis skirt. So I thought this one was super cute. The Joy Lab brand. Guys, they had so many great like active wear pieces at Target and this Joy Lab brand. I was really, really impressed. So I got this, came home and tried it on fit. And I'm excited to wear that this summer. I think I'll wear it a lot. Dude's claiming this as his spot now. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to do this video before I did an entire office remodel video because I love hearing your ideas that you guys might have for me or if you have a really great rug that you love that you think would work in this spot, let me know. Here is kind of my final <laughs> overview of the room. So give me all your ideas. I know we definitely need to do something with our cord management here. We're going to figure that out. But what do you think? Does the chair work? What kind of hardware should we do on the dresser? What should we put in the cabinets? What should I do in this corner? What kind of artwork should I get? Should I leave the mirror here? These are all things that I'm questioning. And dude's just hoping that you guys will say it's okay that we leave this chair up here so he can sit in it. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video.